Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. Not to make you feel old, but Age of Empires just had its 25th birthday. That is, it's 25 years since Age of Empires 1 was released, though AoE 2 isn't that far behind. To commemorate the date, we got a ton of news for Age of Empires 2, Age of Empires 4, sort of Age of Empires 1, and even Age of Mythology. It's a lot to take in, and if you follow my channel at all, you're probably someone who's going to be excited about at least one of these announcements. So in this video, we'll go through the highlights just to keep you up to date. First off, AoE 2 and AoE 4 are coming to Xbox console. Now, mixing keyboard and mouse players with console players on a controller within the same ranked ladder might sound crazy. If they're going for crossplay, that sounds like trying to combine the Indy 500 and the Tour de France, as anyone using hotkeys and a mouse should immediately have a massive speed advantage over a controller. But it may not be as crazy as it sounds. In an article from Xbox titled The Console Age is Coming to Age of Empires, they mentioned trying to make the game feel great using a controller, apparently with the AI automating some aspects of the game. Later on, they also say players who want to use a keyboard and mouse are supported as well. That actually is a game changer for some people, as basically now that just means not everyone will need to own a PC to play Age of Empires 2 or 4. With even a modest gaming PC easily going for $1,000 or $1,500 these days, there's probably a decent market of players who would love to play the game but can't justify buying an Xbox and a gaming PC. Whereas now, just with an Xbox console, you could theoretically have access to it on the Microsoft Store or Game Pass. For AoE 2, this is planned to be coming in January 2023, and for AoE 4, sometime later in the year. The 25th anniversary livestream also mentioned a version coming to mobile, and while it's hard to imagine playing any Age of Empires version on a phone, maybe it's one of those things you'll just have to see in practice. I think we've all seen how many mobile games have been sold pretending they're AoE 2, so presumably there is a market for this. In other AoE 2 slash AoE 1 news, there's a line thrown out in the live stream that they'll be bringing quote AoE DE into the AoE 2 DE engine. It was a single line and not much to go on, but my instinct or optimistic hope is this is similar or ideally even directly related to the Rome at War mod that already exists in AoE 2. Like Forgotten Empires itself back in the day, this is a small amateur team that's been working on a Rome themed overhaul for AoE 2, maintaining the same familiar core mechanics and tech tree, but reskinning it in the Age of Empires 1 time period with period specific civilizations. This is just my speculation, but my hope is they learned from the success of embracing the Forgotten Empires mod project in 2012, and I really hope this is bringing the Rome at War mod as an official DLC. It's actually been confusing to me how little Microsoft has supported fan projects like Krakenmeister, Civ Builder, and the Rome at War mod, which have shown they have massive appeal for casual players and a lot of popularity, but are forced to pay for everything out of their own pocket. Again, I don't know anything behind the scenes, but given the timing of the announcement, where the project is at, and all the excitement it's received, that's my hope at what this comment is alluding to. Moving on from AoE 2, Age of Empires 4 also got some news. There's an anniversary edition being released, or maybe more accurate to say AoE 4 is being renamed. Now I don't think the rebranding is aimed at people who already own and play it, but more to get some of that new release hype, putting its name back in the news, and subtly suggesting that this is the real release as opposed to last year's disappointing release. If you strip away the marketing, the anniversary edition for current players is basically just a one year patch, introducing the Malians and Ottomans as free civilizations along with a new ranked season and some other minor features that have been on the roadmap, like taunts and a handful of cheat codes. This is also coinciding with a drop in price, from $60 US last year to now just $40 US, though Steam prices do vary quite a bit by country. Finally, the last big announcement, and maybe the most popular, is Age of Mythology is being remastered under the name Age of Mythology Retold. We don't get any look at gameplay yet or any details, but I know it's a beloved entry in the franchise for many people, and now it's confirmed to be in the development pipeline. I wish there was more to say about it, but all we basically know is it has not been forgotten. Also speaking of not being forgotten, AoE 3 is getting a balance update as well that's actually surprisingly large, with new maps and everything. It doesn't get a lot of fanfare these days, but it's nice to see it's still getting some attention. So that's a wrap up of the news announced today, and I expect there's a lot of happy Age of Mythology fans, AoE 4 fans, and hopefully some new players being brought into the franchise through the release on console and whatever the mobile game they're mentioning ends up being. That'll do it for this one though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.